What's good you guys, Nasarima here, and I actually have a little bit of time today, so I'm just doing different topics for you guys. The last topic that I just did today was just basically um, independent artists, you know, we have great music, we're here, I know you guys see us, and you you love us, you know, you want us to get further, you want us to get signed, but you guys, y'all just don't know the half of what it is to get your music out there. Did you guys know that the main artists that are on Billboard 100s, the main artists that you hear on the radio, did you know that their labels are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to get them on the radio? I'm an independent artist, I'm not signed. I'm gonna have to pay to get on the radio. Yeah, it's illegal, it's called payola, but you gotta pay to get on it. If you're not paying money out of your pocket, you're in these streets getting your music out there, getting your music heard, giving these radio DJs a reason to even play you. Like, I don't know why people think it's so easy. Unless you're like Gabrielle Union's daughter and you're just automatically in the spotlight, it's not gonna happen for you. And even if you are automatically in the spotlight, the music has to be at least, you know, like you gotta put in some type of work. Shit ain't easy out here. I used to think that you could just wake up and live the dream. It's gonna happen. It's gonna come to me. All I have to do is wait. Doesn't happen like that, y'all. You gotta work your ass off. Now, I want you guys to comment under this video. Give me more subjects um, that you guys wanna hear me talk about. And yeah, peace out. Oh yeah, one more thing. Also, when you guys um, go to record, like me being an independent artist and making mistakes, I used to just want to record in everybody's studio, do features. Like I had just started rapping at the time and I was just in studio after studio after studio. And I fell out with one of the engineers and he said something like, oh, you don't even own your music. And even recently, like a month ago, somebody um, that I did a song with told me good luck on releasing the song. And it's just like, yo, you do a song with somebody, y'all get into it, maybe you're out having fun celebrating the record and one of you get drunk and you, you know, there's just a simple misunderstanding. Understand that you still have business together and that shit can get all the way fucked up. And that's why me personally, I'm not interested in features unless I know or have a good relationship with the person. People are really, really weird. You do a feature with someone or you do a record, you know, with your boyfriend and you're rapping on his beat. It's supposed to be business and not personal, but it messes the money up, yo. Like, I've heard stories like this. I've heard so many stories like one of my homegirls, she found a top 40 producer in Atlanta. You know, there's so many amazing producers out here. He did, um, I guess an album for her, it was 10 records and they got into it and he didn't want her to use any of the songs. So not only were you in the studio and you're paying this guy for the records, but all of a sudden he has an attitude for what, it doesn't matter what the reason is. I don't give a, what they argued about. You see what I'm saying? You have 10 records together and now all of a sudden, you know, you're not even focused on the money. You're focused on how angry you are. And now all of this work has gone to waste. The best she could do is take her vocals and let another producer go under them and, you know, put the music out. But y'all, y'all have no idea what us artists go through just to get the content out. It's a whole bunch of bullshit. I remember um, some guy from Empire, he looked at my videos and said they sucked and how I had no lighting. So I paid him over $1,000 for a professional standard, you know, industry standard video. And he couldn't even produce that. You know, he didn't do anything that I asked him to do. My nails are completely always on fleek. He didn't even get my nails in the video. Like every boss bitch that you see, you're gonna notice her nails, her makeup, her hair. He didn't get any of that and it's just like, yo, you were talking shit about this photographer, so I paid you and you can't even come through. If anything, I'm gonna make a song about that shit and put that shit out. And if y'all don't fuck with shit, f fuck with the record, y'all not real, because I'm giving y'all the truth about what's really going on out here. Like for real, these, these dudes is out of pocket, yo. And I'm coming for y'all, bruh. I'm coming for y'all. That's not doing y'all's job out here. Ever met a celebrity or ever heard a story about a celebrity where their attitudes were just so fucked up? Like, oh, I thought she'd be nicer. Oh, I can't believe. 
she fired her hairstylist or just crazy shit like that like artists go through so much they don't mean to be rude y'all just you know treat people the way you want to be treated you know if you're just not having a good day woke up on the wrong side of the bed you don't want anyone in your face like that you know you don't you know there's just certain times where you just want to be alone artists are literally they started off just like me human beings real skin real blood they don't want to talk all the time you guys they need their moments because 10 times out of 10 there's a bitch ass photographer videographer or stylist that's just pissing them off at the moment i'm telling you also, one little um, secret that I did not know that I want to share, another reason why, like, it'll just take me longer, but I'll still be here, you guys. You guys can always check out my videos, but I didn't know that when you're signed to a label that the advance they give you, you have to pay it back plus interest paying it back that was a shock to me because i thought it was just like an advance like yeah we're signing you we're giving you this like you have to use the money for your own videos and pay it back plus interest it's like yo i'm gonna be real i'm in the streets i could go get my own money and not have to pay interest back on that shit you know what i mean some of you guys are shocked too because y'all are y'all didn't know it just like i didn't know it you know like you think that you just rap you make good music you think you sing really good and you're cute and you have the look and you have the confidence but it's not that at all if you don't have no money to put behind yourself and the reason i say money is because connections connections can be broken and then you're asked out like yeah jay-z remember homegirl i introduced you to i really don't fuck with her no more bro fuck shawty and take her off your record like i've seen it happen but i've seen it happen to producers oh we finna take snoop off that we finna tell who we finna take off this shit you know what i'm talking about yeah i'm mad now we i'm finna take homeboy off your record connections ain't shit you gotta do it yourself yo and i'm working at my own pace because i don't work for anyone so that's just what i'm doing and i love you guys and i just want you guys to know what's going on with nasi so heads up do your own thing be you get your money up your money up to my money and hit up your local radio stations because all of them have my song Tumo by Nasrima. They have the clean version, it's playing everywhere. Y'all do that for me. Turn up.